just made my first cup of coffee with my new water boiler. No more microwave for me, no sir. No ma'am. Mm-mm. It's water boiler all the way for coffee and oatmeal. Yahoo! Hello again, my brother. I just thought you might want something funny to laugh at. These are the bills. These are the bills of lading for the Frito-Lay load. There was no bubble, so the driver stuffed them behind uh, where the airlines come out. And it's a good spot, you know, if it was summertime, but it rained. And they were wedging there good, and I was real careful to get them out. And that's the best I could do. So I've got some time and some tape. And I will put those back together for us. <laughs> Look at that. Man. But most of it's still there, so it should flatten out, I think. I'll send you a picture when I'm done. All right. This is afterwards. I think, I think it'll be all right. It's a little chunk there, but that's a redundant copy. It's still a little soggy, but I think they'll dry and the tape will eventually stick. So I'm up here at Carl's Jr. It's raining again, but it actually stopped raining. And I was able to walk the mile up here, and as soon as I got here, it started raining again. <laughs> So thankful for small things like that. And, uh, hopefully it'll stop raining again just long enough for me to walk back or off to Uber. It's uh, almost $7 to Uber that mile back. Can you believe that? Makes a good argument for 3,000 real minimum pass out in Cambodia. There's my triple bacon eater. We're out here helping the crew. Got a little stitch of negation here. Somebody dropped a trailer in a bad spot. As you see, it has now sank into the mud. This is one of the joys of trucking that you don't want to experience. Now, thankfully, this is not my trailer. It is sank into the mud. Now, this right here is a concrete pad. That's where the landing gear should have gone. But clearly, they missed it. Now the rain has come down and the mud has turned soft and this heavy trailer just sank into it. As you see, it's much lower than it should be. And I'm out here in his flip flops, got the boss man out here working hard. You see the height. You see how much lower this trailer is than that one. But anyway, this is such a good box. It's not even his truck or trailer. He just saw it. And he's like, that's going to be a problem. So he started taking care of it. The driver doesn't even know. Doesn't even know. what we do on our day off so what we're gonna do is put the air back in the airbags of the truck lift it up some I'm gonna raise that landing gear all the way the truck should support it if all goes well we're gonna slide that big piece of steel you see right there under there I'm gonna raise the landing gear back up try to get the tractor under it that's the plan Back in the truck. 
everything is soaked. Ugh. I mean soaked. Oh, it's going to take a while to dry this out. The joys of trucking. You know, this was all clean. It was. <laughs> I don't even know where to hang it. was clean. Everything I was wearing was clean. My shoes are soaked. Oh my goodness. Ugh. Everything. <laughs> anyway, I was glad to help them out. <laughs> yeah, those guys are from India. The mechanic. This guy with the boots from India, and uh, Sook, guy in the flip-flops, he works in the office, I mean, everyone here is a driver, everyone can drive, uh, but Sook works in the office, he's from India, like I said, it's not even their truck, I mean, the driver that did it doesn't even know, Sook just came and, uh, as he's coming to work on a Sunday, and he saw a problem, and so he, t he started taking care of it. And everyone else has started helping. But that's what kind of guy he is, you know? So, makes me feel good. Like, if it was me in my trailer instead of me coming to work tomorrow, with it all hemmed up like that. Oh, here comes the other boss. <laughs> well, it's been an interesting day off to say the least and uh it's been cold and rainy all day so which means when i leave tomorrow morning there's probably gonna be some snow up in the mountains and uh i'm smiling just because <laughs> that's the joy of trucking i mean it's not necessarily a good thing get up pretty early in the morning get back at it head on up to portland and um start the week over that's the plan anyway Oh, and a little bit of good news. I uh, think I figured out how to Bluetooth from my phone to the truck stereo, which I know to most people that's pretty easy to do, but something about the stereo in here, I was, I was struggling with it. I had to watch on YouTube how to do it. And I joined Audible from Amazon, so now I can listen to books as I'm driving down the road. So I downloaded a John Grisham book, you know, like a lawyer suspense thriller kind of book and so now I've got some more interesting listening material as I go down the road anyway so I'm excited about it I'm excited about going back to work tomorrow